Well, we had a bore bonding failure, so. <laughs> Sherman was just when I got when I got up this morning and went to check on them he wouldn't even come out to get his piece of cucumber he just was sitting there looking shell shocked and I just I thought well maybe they're just tired because they've been chasing each other all night yeah but as the day went on, I saw that Parsley was not being kind to Sherman. And I simply won't have Sherman live like that. He deserves a good life, especially after his rough start. Which is, you know, he was starving and full of lice. So I just won't. That's yeah, right. I just won't. Paw prayers, huh? Paw prayers. Yeah, so we put the grid back in the middle of the cage so they still have company. And Parsley hates it. He wants to be with Sherman, but Sherman does not want to be with him. Because he's getting picked on all the time. Not right, Sherman. Yeah. And I won't let him live like that. You know, they, they have company. Um, the cage is a... You know, it's okay. It's not the size I would like for them, but as long as they get pen time and cuddle time, they're fine. And they can run around in the space they're in. And they each have a space house. So they have quite a bit of room that way. Because the space house from LA Guinea Pig Rescue really does save a lot of space, just like it, the name would indicate. So, yeah. German. Who's that? Who's that, Sherman? Oh, who's that? Ooh, where are you going? Come here. Yeah, you like the pink robe, don't you? Everybody does. Sherman. Where's Jesus? Where's Jesus? Oh, over there? Okay. Okay. Straight on. Right on. So it's it's like I keep saying, you just can't bond everybody, but they deserve to have company. In that case, the best thing and safest thing to do is put them in separate cages and just put the cages like up against each other practically, you know, not so they can hurt each other, but and they can see each other and they can chat and they can have company, but the one who's getting beat up doesn't have to fear that, you know, that they can't relax, they can't eat in peace, they can't drink in peace, they can't sleep without getting, you know, bugged. How would you like that? You know, you wouldn't like it if you had to live with somebody who never gave you a moment's peace although i imagine there's probably some of you out there that do have that you know that could certainly be but if you have the choice to give your piggy you know a calm life i'm sure that your piggy would much rather have that so right sherman yeah. Isn't that a pretty pillow sham? It's purple. Yeah. Yeah. So, poor bonding failure, but still have company. Yes, we do. And we're still saying our paw prayers for everybody that needs it. Mm hmm. Yes, we are. So love to everybody and take care of yourself and be good to your piggies. Um, make sure they're getting along. Sometimes even after four years of living together, they can start to fight. I, I know that can happen. And if it does, you know, just put them in separate cages for a while. Sometimes they just need a timeout for the evening too. 
and then they'll be okay again. That happened with Griffin and Ozzy, but it isn't true for everybody, so. And no, the babies haven't come yet. Believe me, you will know. As soon as the babies come, I don't know if I'll get them on video because obviously I will if, if I'm home. And I'm home quite a bit. And that's why all my animals are my animal friends. I prefer to call them that. Are so friendly and kind and loving. It's because they get lots of attention and talking to. And that's the great part about working part-time. And I really appreciate that that my husband makes that possible for me. So, yay, hubby. Okay. Right, Sherman? You love daddy, don't you? Yeah, you love daddy. Yes, you do. Okay. We'll say goodnight now. And Sherman says as soon as his babies are born, we'll let you know. And hopefully we'll get some of it on video. Okay, bye.